Okay, quick truth. I'm not here to shill. I tried bars, that YC thing that turns any website into API. And yeah, it's clever, but also kind of scary. You can run an API against sites without spinning a browser. That's either brilliant or kind of morally gray or ethically gray. Let's poke it. So Parse says it's reverse engineers sites, network request, handles cookies, CSRF, IP rotation, and gives you a deterministic endpoints that return JSON. So instead of brittle headless browser, and CSS electors, you get an instant API, pretty hacker sexy. Now, but here's the where I stop and raise my hand is who owns that data? If Parse makes it easy to extract prizes, listings, and user-generated content in bulk, does that mess with a site's business model? Does it stripe ads, undercut APIs, or let people resell data they don't own? What about privacy and are we accidentally harvesting people's personal information? These are not academic caution, by the way. They are the reason why people sue scrappers and why companies have a terms of service page. Now, founders will say we only access publicly available endpoints. We are 100 to 10x cheaper, cheaper than headless browsers, but we allow anti-bot measures. Great, but follow how robot.txt, terms of service, explicit opt-out, be specific. Now, my take is, Tools like this are very powerful and useful for developers, but they come with responsibility. If you demo it, do it on your site or with permission. Ask Parse publicly, how do you handle this site, terms of service, personal data, and revenue impacts? I dropped the link in the description. You can read about them. I also create content for dev tool companies and SaaS companies. If you want to work with me, the link is in the description.